what's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to use the Thicken tool in order to add thickness to objects that don't already have that so that you can make solids from surfaces in your Fusion 360 models. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so one thing we haven't talked about too much on the channel yet but I want to get more in depth is the surface modeling tools. So we've been focused focusing so far more on the solid modeling tools and those create objects that are solids. So for example, if I was to extrude this like this, you can see how this creates this cylinder that's actually a solid object. So what it has is it has faces on the two ends and also along the middle so that it's actually solid. And if we were to inspect this, so if we were to do a section analysis to test and make sure this is a solid, the way that would work is you can see how if we do that section analysis, this has shading across it, meaning that it's a solid shape. So what a solid shape means is basically that's a shape that doesn't have any holes in it. So the way I've always heard it described is a solid is what a 3D shape would be if you were able to fill it up with water, and then no matter how you moved it around, water wouldn't be able to fall out. So there's nowhere for that water to come out. So that's kind of a solid shape, but sometimes, we're going to be creating shapes using the surface tool set. What the surface tool set does is it allows us to work just with surfaces and it doesn't necessarily work in the same way in the sense that it doesn't add the ends and other things like that. So like for example if I was to extrude this circle using the surface tool set you can see how this extrudes this without closing in the ends. And so that can be really valuable for creating some more complex shapes. Um, but the problem is, and you can see how over here on the left hand side, is if I was to do a section analysis of this, this is not a solid. You can see how there's no shading across this or anything like that. And that means that things like 3D printers and other programs aren't going to recognize this shape. So what we have to do is we have to somehow make this shape into a solid. So we have to give it thickness. And that's where the thicken tool comes in. So you can find the thicken tool if you go under create, thicken, you can see how there's a tool in here designed specifically to add thickness to surface faces to make them a solid. So for example, if I was to activate this tool and select this face, what that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to give thickness to this object, either inside or outside, so that it becomes a solid. So let's say I made this a quarter inch thick. Well now, this object has a face on the bottom. It has a thickened face right here, and then it has a face on the top. So if we were to do a section analysis of this, just by clicking on section analysis, running this in here, you can see how this is shaded in because now this object is a solid rather than just a surface. You can notice that your original shape stays in here when you do this. So that body number seven that we base this on is still in here, but it gets hidden. So that is still in here if you need to make changes or adjustments or things like that. And so this will work for different kinds of shapes too. So let's say that we were to create a loft between these two edges. like this. You can see how this still doesn't have any it doesn't have any thickness in here. So this is just basically a ribbon that's in here with no thickness whatsoever, which again is fine if that's what you're trying to model, but let's say this was a shape that you needed a 3D print for whatever reason, well you wouldn't be able to do this as is right now. But we could give this thickness using the thicken tool. So I can just come in here and select this. You can see how I can drag this in either direction or I can type in a value in order to give this thickness. So if I was to click on OK, you can see how that gave us an object where again, if we were to inspect it, it's a solid all the way through with the thickness that we dictated. So this can be really good for working with those complex shapes in here. And this also works for things like, let's say I was to revolve this around this circle, kind of like the example that's shown right here. So if we were to use the revolve tool and we were to revolve this profile around the central axis, you can see how that does the same thing where it creates the shape, but the shape doesn't have any thickness to it. Well, if I was to click on okay, and then I was to thicken this. This would thicken this all the way around. So if I was to thicken this on the inside, 
we can use that to turn this into a solid. So in addition, this allows us to select multiple surfaces at once. So if we were to extrude this up, for example, using the surface tool, and then let's say we were to patch in a face on the bottom. We'll talk more about the patch tool in a future video, but basically what this allows you to do is we now have a face making up the perimeter of this and a face making up the bottom. Well, we could use the thicken tool and select all of those faces just by dragging a box around them. And you can see how you can actually use this to thicken not only the edges of this, but also the bottom. So let's say I was to make this a quarter of an inch thick and then do a section analysis on it. What you would see is you would see that this is solid all the way through and this thickened not only the vertical faces, but also the base here. And it thickened it in a way that these interacted with each other so that they work together nicely. So you can see how you can use this to create those solid objects um, with multiple different faces as well. So and then finally, this will also work with forms. So let's say I was to create a form over here. And let's say this was to have 10 faces and 10 faces, you can see how again, this doesn't have any thickness associated with it. So I can come in here and I can modify this. So I could like drag some of this up, drag some of this down, and then click on okay and finish my form. So you can see how that gives me a form that's kind of like a cloth drape. Well, you can use the thicken tool in order to give that thickness as well. So I could take this and I can thicken this up or down. You can see how you can use that to create a very complex shape really quickly. And it's something that's 3D printable. Um, it's something that you can work with in the real world as well. But you can see how this shows us right here that this is actually a solid shape. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Are you using this tool? Have you had any issues with it in the past? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.